Welcome back, multifamily investors. It's Monday and I'm checking last week's multifamily sales in Western Washington. We have 18 that closed last week. Um, and I'm proud to say that I have two that I got pending, uh, not closed, but two pending this weekend, which was pretty exciting for two different clients. Um, but these deals that closed ranged from 350 to 2.2 million. You can see these single digits on days on market. There are stuff, there are properties that are still moving quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, half, 50% uh, went under contract in the first week. So all that news you hear about, oh, the market sucks, the rates stink, the market's crashing. Well, it might be cooling a bit, but uh, there are still plenty of investors looking for opportunities. And then we had some that had sat for a while as well. And usually the ones that are sitting are because of, it just comes down to price more than anything or condition or uh, unable to finance. So it takes a particular buyer. But let's go through these real quick and take a quick look at uh, the type of properties that were closing. This was a duplex in um, in Tacoma. It was listed for 375, sold for 350. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, this is out by the ocean, uh, the coast. It's a they say triplex, but it's really this little tiny single family with a duplex on it as well. But under four hundred thousand for three units. But again, you're not going to have the the job force and everything else that you get in the Seattle Tacoma area out there in Westport. And this is Bremerton. Uh, it was listed for a while, four ninety nine, so for four thirty. It was a triplex, uh, two twos and a one bed. Um, that's you know it probably needed some some work and everything, but. Um, under 500, even for a decent duplex in Bremerton is, is not bad. Um, but this is older. The triplex I got under contract for my client, uh, was listed for 635. I'm not going to tell you what the price was just yet until we close, but to give you per some perspective, that was a cheap Bremerton du uh, triplex just sold. Uh, here's one that was sitting for a while, 49, sold for 475. It was a small duplex in Port Orchard, but it had some water views. I thought it was kind of a great first um investment for somebody two bed one baths they were 720 square feet um but there it goes uh everett stohomish county listed for 499 sold immediately for over over asking 510. Oh, by the way these are the ones that were side by side that were listed together they were identical properties i think the same uh investor was flipping them but they they basically got half a million each for those this is Lake Stevens again, Snohomish County. It was listed for 550, sold for 510. Terrible pictures. Uh, duplex in Tacoma. Love this, you know, side by side, clean, simple design. Sold right away, 535. Um, two bed, one baths, 824 square feet. Late 70s property. Here's one out in Quincy that was up for 550, sold right away for 550. Um, this is out in Grant County where my boys, Christian and Cody, own a lot of units. And um, this is a big, though, I think, yeah, 1,863 square feet, two bed, two bath. I don't know why those aren't three beds, but they're big. Built in the 90s, 94. That's a great looking property right there. <clears throat> but it's probably on a busier street. I see a line there. Uh, University Place, this is just one of the better neighborhoods in, um, around Tacoma, uh, a, a fairly decent school district from what I have heard, uh, public school district. This is for $599, so for $600. Um, two bed, one and a half baths, 970 square feet. Those are great. Uh, built, probably built in the 70s, yeah, 1976. That's, that's a pretty good purchase, I would say, for a house hacking opportunity for, for us investors. That's just not going to make, it's not going to make sense at 600 um, I re a few years ago, I sold a client, a duplex, just like this, not too far from 54th and UP. I think uh, we got it for 350. So it's, that's how much our prices had gone up the last few years. Tacoma duplex, this for 599, sold right away over asking, 610. Parkland, 649, sold for 647. Uh, this is, these are big, you can tell these are newer construction. Uh, three bed, two and a half bath, 1,391 square feet. Parkland is just south of Tacoma, by the way. Uh, this is uh, South Tacoma, fourplex. See, we're seeing fourplexes again now under a million. Thank goodness. This is actually under 900. Um, now, again, this, you know, you're going to have some rougher neighboring fourplexes. I know this area of Tacoma and, and this 
these projects of uh, these fourplexes. They're all three bed, one and a half bath. Those are, you know, good size. Um, and, but you don't get the, you don't get crazy good rents because that just honestly, it's the area. <clears throat> and that's why it was under 900,000. Normal, gosh, it wasn't too long ago that the three bed fourplexes were easily going for 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 so that's definitely cooled off a little bit. This is uh, the Ballard Green Lake Wallingford area, actually. 875 for a duplex. Um, you know, two bed, one bath. Doesn't get the square footage there. It's 1950 total. So figure roughly about 900 and some square feet each. Another Ballard duplex. Uh, list for 95 sold for 932. That one was sitting a while. Federal Way, not the best rental uh, market area. And they're also, uh, compared to Seattle, they are about at the same level of extreme anti-landlord ordinances. So I encourage people to use caution if you're considering Federal Way to hold rentals there. So this is for 990, sold for 945. Again, this wasn't too long ago, this would have been 1.1. Uh, let's see, we got a really nice, um, let's see, this is South Judson, Judkins neighborhood, townhouse style duplex is 1.07, one's a three, two and a half, and a two one, that's weird. Uh, but it was built in 2022, and 1.77. Um, Queen Anne Magnolia, I've mentioned that's, that's probably one of the better neighborhoods of Seattle, that's why things are so expensive there meticulously cared duplex 1.1 and then a seven unit in the green lake area for 2.2 i think that's actually a good price 62 i like that mid-century that look uh, that construction now you know hopefully it would have copper pipes by now and um, updated maybe electrical panels but you have three two beds and four one beds like the mix it's saying a 5.76, that's not a bad cap still for what we're seeing in Seattle. Um, let's take a quick look. That's a beautiful looking property in my opinion. It's gonna have baseboard heating, you know, the wood trim. It's gonna have that 60s, 70s feel for sure. But this can all be updated. And this could be a really cool mid-century classic building. So you're just a hair over 300,000 a unit or so. Um, cool property. There you have it. 18 investors have acquired new properties in the last seven days in Western Washington. Congrats to them. What are you waiting for? Uh, half of these sold in the first week. So um, some of these we can tire kick, these longer ones, but some of these, uh, like the two that I got under contract this weekend, we had to move quick and that is the key. The key is speed to win, lock it up to give us the right to buy it before anybody else. Doesn't mean you have to buy it, right? There's always outs. Uh, we're good about creating some, creating some contingencies. So don't have the fear, make some offers, take some action. All right. Thank you for watching.